Greetings, my friends. Jason here. I am fortunate enough today to be joined by my lovely and talented wife, Christina, who some of you know. Um, and today we're going to talk a little bit about programming, mental programming, and self-awareness, and how that impacts basically everything that happens in your life. So in a previous video, I talked about how your beliefs, you know, basically uh, structure your outcomes. There's a chain of events that happens where whatever you believe, ultimately, you end up creating an emotion and an action and creating an outcome, right? And we're not going to go into how those are created today because we could talk about it for six hours. But at the end of the day, each of us carries a belief internally. It's generally a dark one that prohibits us from achieving the things that we want. Some of us have what I call money programs, whereas we believe, well, money is something that other people have, you know, that I'll never have it. I'll never be wealthy. I can never achieve. You know, some people have performance programs. Some people have you know, worth. A lot of people have worth programs. I, was, I am one of these people. And basically that stems from coming up in a quasi-abusive environment where I was basically told I was worthless on a fairly regular basis. And so as a child, it doesn't take much to internalize that. So I'll just give you an idea of how that manifested itself in my life before I became aware of it and, and how I was showing up because of it. So because I felt like I was worthless and I had no value to offer, no matter what people saw in me, I had to do whatever I had to do to make myself right about that belief. So every time a woman came into my life, it didn't matter how good she was, it didn't matter at all. She could have been, you know, perfect. But in my mind, I would have found a problem with her. Because I had to make the situation such that I was right about me not being worthy to be around her, right? I would pick her apart. I would tear her down. You know, I would say shitty little comments. And basically, I ran off a lot of good women before I was ever put in my place and, and brought to bear on, uh, and brought to think about, you know, how I was showing up in the world and the things I was doing. For me, it was at the ruin of a previous relationship and the beginning of several classes of leadership where I finally figured out that I was showing up like a total dick and not even consciously doing it. It just happened. And I know that you guys probably know people and you've seen people in your life who continue to get in the same cycle where they say they want a relationship and they get in a relationship. The relationship ends for the same reason. You know, they'll start another relationship six months later. That relationship ends for the same reason. Well, the common denominator is what they believe about themselves. It's what they're bringing to it. And that was the case for me until I ran into this woman after I had a little bit of self-awareness who was kind of able to put me in my place and keep me in check. That's right. She tries to whip <laughs> on me, right? And so um, that's an example of how that program ran my life for many, many years before I ever had any self-awareness about it and did anything about it. And um, I know that Christina has several programs that she's been struggling with as well, but I think that she wanted to share one. You want to share one? Sure. Go for it. So um, I think about, I have a program that runs me, and it's that I have to have a job to make money. And it wasn't until a couple years ago that I realized where this came from. And I, um, I grew up in an Italian household. My mom owned a restaurant for 30 years, and my dad worked in cement. And... My mom always told me, you know, you've got to be an entrepreneur. you got to own your own business and you'll be successful in life. And meanwhile, my father kept telling me I had to get a job. You have to have a job. You have to go to school and you got to get a job. And um, there was a point where I remember being um, living at home. I had three jobs and I got into an argument with my dad and he's lecturing me about getting another job. I'm like, I had three freaking jobs. Like. Like, what, what can you expect? And um, a couple years ago, when that awareness came about, I realized this because I, I, I realized that I really w wanted to please my father. And, um, and so I always had this in my head that I wanted, you know, how to have a job. And, you know, I've had a job, you know, since I can remember. I've always had a job. I think I started working when I was four years old at my mom's restaurant. <laughs> And how long have you wanted your own business, though? And, uh, and I've wanted to have my own business. I've always wanted to have my own business. However, I have this huge fear. There's this huge barrier where I, I don't even, you know, at one point I couldn't even comprehend it. 
And now um, that I've become aware of this program that's running me, I can I can ask myself that question when I come to and say, um, is this my program talking to me right now or is this reality? And um, I've been working towards becoming my own entrepreneur. And I even, I am my own entrepreneur already. Uh, however, I still associate myself with my job. And when people ask me what I do, I, I tell them what I do for my job. But I don't mm -hmm. talk about the, you know, the fact that I'm a landlord and the fact that I own my own um, online business and and I, it just doesn't even come to my awareness. So I'm working on that. And mm -hmm. um, I think it's just so important first to, to raise that awareness, do the work and, and have a support system. Mm -hmm. Someone that can uh, really support you through and understand what programs are running. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, the long and short of it is, and I know we're, we're kind of running long here, but the long and short of it is, is that each of us carry a system of beliefs that are hardwired in our minds, and you will physically do, whether you're conscious or unconscious of it, everything humanly possible to make yourself right about those beliefs. And the only way to free yourself is to learn what they are so that you can make a different decision when you acknowledge that they showed up. And that requires a little bit of self-awareness. And so that's what we're talking about when you hear you know, leadership and personal development people talk about quote-unquote self-awareness that's really what it is is knowing how you show up and like christine like christine was talking about you know having a system of people who will be honest with you and not bullshit you when you're showing up like a dick let you know you know hey this program's not serving you you know these are the people that you need to value and these are the people that you want to carry with you forward into life and fortunately i was able to find you know a woman who was able to do that for me and i hope that you guys find friends family significant others that are able to do that for you. Mm -hmm. And maybe next time we'll delve a little bit deeper into where these come from when we have about six or seven hours to cover <laughs> content. But until then, you know, read, educate yourself, take some leadership classes, make friends with your dark side, find out how you show up in the world. And I think that you'll be able to see that and make a different decision when those programs do fire. Take care, guys. See you. Bye.